phrases. <clears throat> and you have to get rid of one of them forever. I got a couple of these, a couple groups of threes. Okay. So I'll give you three phrases or like terms. And we have to collectively agree which one has to go forever. Fine. And in fact, we'll 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 put these down uh, and we'll send them off to our Congress, our oh. our representative, our alderman, our alderman, whoever okay. is in charge of this kind of stuff. That uh, if someone were to utter this phrase, they would be put in jail. Okay, great. Wow. I'll write them down so we remember. When we de <laughs> then when we determine to to have to get rid of. Okay. okay. So here are the first three phrases: the customer is always right. Sorry, not sorry. Or money can't buy happiness. Mm. Which one of those could could never be said again? Easy. The customer's always right. Sorry, not sorry. Or money can't buy happiness. I hate all three of those. Yeah. <laughs> but one of them has to go away forever. I vote for sorry, not sorry. I double. I second that. Sorry, not sorry. We got second two for sorry, motion. not sorry. Rafe? It's a two-horse race between the customer's always right and sorry, not sorry. I don't mind the money can't buy happiness because whatever. Uh, Would you like to hear our reasoning and maybe it'll sway you a little bit? Give it to me. <laughs> I think the other two have a little bit of utility. I think they have some utility and some use in certain scenarios, right? Sorry, not sorry is a fad. It's so, it's so, it's, it's, it's such a dick thing to it, say. It, I mean, it's yeah. such a douchebag thing to say. I'm going sorry, not sorry. If you're using it for non humorous, uh, humorous purposes, then you're basically just being a Even then jackass. Even it's hacky. Yeah, it's, you're refusing. And you're right. You're sorry, turning, not sorry. You know, I'm you're, out. You're Take turning. It. It's like somebody turning their nose up at you when they say, right. sorry, not sorry. Yeah. You, but you're, I, you're acknowledging usually the person that you that should that say sorry. Yes. The, agree, yes. Well, you're also just being like, I'm being an a-hole, and I like it. <laughs> That's what you're really saying. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm an a-hole, and I don't care that you... I don't care that I'm an a-hole. That's what you're really saying. You can say it as a joke. Yeah, well, you can like say it in a humorous Like I did 15 minutes ago. Uh, now, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, when you shot, learn in the in the ass with the airsoft, sorry, sorry, not just sorry. say sorry, sorry and not, not mean sorry. it. <laughs> you don't need to add the other part. Uh, the only thing I hate about the customer is always right is usually the person saying that is a dill hole. Yeah, who is yeah, not that's right. That's why. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're not using it utilitarian. It's them trying to get something they don't deserve from a business that has given them more than enough, but. You're right. On a universal scale, sorry, not sorry, he's got to go. Scott, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. sorry. <laughs> Write that oh, down. Canadian. Goodbye. <laughs> it's got to go. Okay. Ah! Okay. One of these has to go. Everything happens for a reason. Welcome to the real world. Mm. Or put yourself up, oh, or I'm sorry, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Mm. Mm. One of those has to go. Everything happens for a reason. Welcome to the real world. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Um, or pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I, I'm going to go pull yourself up by the bootstraps because it's insensitive seeming. The Whoa, other what? two are like what, what you pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Like toughen up. Suck it up. Oh. Get over it. It's like a Whereas show. welcome to the real world can have many. You can use that in different places, like. Except and then for uh, the fake world. The first one was. Um, I feel like if somebody says that, it, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I feel like everybody says that, and that's just overdone. And it's all of these are kind of insensitive, but I feel like pull yourself up by the bootstraps is trying to make you seem like you gotta just toughen it out. Which I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like. Well, some people do. There's better ways to tell. I feel like when that. somebody says to me, "Welcome to the real world." Uh huh. That's their way of, I'm smarter than you, oh. and I'm ending this argument because I think I'm smarter than you. Hmm. No, really? See, I didn't see oh. it either. Welcome to the real I world. Know. Yeah, I know. I live here, too. Hmm. I'm going to say the bootstraps one goes for me just because uh, I'm not even 100% sure what the real, like, the real depth of the meaning of the phrase is. It's an old time. It's like toughen up. I, I know it's old timey, but I'm saying, like, pull yourself up. Put your work boots on. Go and solve your problems. Don't well, sit around and complain about them. That's yeah. basically what it's saying. It's, it's like, man up, get out there, yeah. and get it done. Or, I'm sorry, learn. Be woman up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Boobs up. Be self-sufficient. <laughs> Go out and don't live in the state of victimhood. Which I 
don't have a problem with the phrasing. I don't like that it's been co-opted by a specific brand of douchebag. Mm -hmm. So which one's got to go for you? What was the first one? There's Everything one. happens for a reason. Yeah. Well, welcome to the real world or pull yourself up by your bootstraps. One of these has to go. Uh, Mine was real world. Real Bye. world's for you. I, I have a real bad distaste for everything happens for a reason, even though I think that it's true and has some util utilitarian truth in it. I also think it has become a catch-all for not being able to show empathy to someone. You know, it's just become kind of a catch-all. Like so, bootstraps for you. Thoughts and prayers. Okay, bootstraps for you. Uh, yeah, bootstraps. All Gotta right. go. Uh, that's what it's gonna go. But Scott, for you. Yeah, I think I could go bootstraps as well okay. because it's one of those things where you just give it, you throw it out there, and you're never the person you're explaining this to that needs this advice probably has no clue how to even start helping themselves. You know, they don't have the education or the proper training, so they're sitting mm -hmm. there. Just dumbfounded, and you're upset with them. And is this a weird, simple way to say something to pretend that you know what you're talking All about? Right. Ah! It's also usually being distributed by a specific brand of person who did not pull themselves up by their bootstraps, <laughs> That's true. but has living in a state of constant unself awareness. <laughs> All right, here are the next three uh, the use of mansplaining. Like, stop mansplaining that to me. The misuse of I could care less. Or the overuse of the, 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 and misuse of the word literally. Oh, boy. Mm. Man. Ooh. This is a good line. So the this use of date. mansplaining, the Very misuse good. of I could care less, or the overuse and misuse of literally. Well, mansplaining is a noun, and um, I think that that needs to be around till the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with literally. Uh, that gets all my votes, I think. Wait, mansplaining is a noun? I'm thinking of I guess that too. it's a verb. Mansplain. I mansplain. Oh, you can't correct her because you're mansplaining. Now, oh. now we're mansplaining. Bro. Now you're mansplaining. Bro. See, it comes in here. God My forbid bad. you correct you her. You're literally you're mansplaining. Literally. Mansplaining. It's literally. <laughs> I could care less if it's a noun. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I could care less, I think, needs to go because doesn't everybody say I couldn't care less? It's, it should be I couldn't care less. Yes, oh, so everybody says I could care less. You're not really getting rid of the phrase, you're getting rid correct. of the improper phrase. We talked about that. Remember, they're both correct yeah. in, some, in some weird... Yeah, they're they're both like double correct. Universe they're here. both correct because everybody says it the wrong way. Oh, and if and if that is against your rules, then you need a, there's a lot of stuff you need to cut out. Snuck? That's not a word. I hey. snuck out. That's not a word. You snuck it in there, though. But it is because we're so stupid. We just we just stupefied the whole the whole so, thing. So, example, you go into national parks, okay? Okay. I don't care about you going to national parks. I couldn't care any less. Right. I like guess. I'm at the lowest point of caring. Oh, but you also could care less. I'm with as you. in you know it doesn't affect you. I could care less. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's ambiguous. <laughs> I'm. Let's get rid of it because it's stupid. Around. I agree with you. <laughs> I couldn't care less. Is the, I uh, the only problem I have with that is we're not getting rid of the snarky. It's the misuse of it. You're only getting it's rid of the misuse. The misuse so you're not really even taking anything off the table. So, so if you used it the wrong way, yeah, then then you'll go. You're going to jail. But the literal, the literal thing doesn't doesn't bother you. Literally, literally bothers as, me as much. That well, bothers I know it bothers me. all of us, but I'm saying as much as the could care mm. less. Well, sometimes you are speaking literally. So when you're trying to emphasize, it's like, the misuse, It's the misuse and overuse of the word literally. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's talking about the misuse yeah. com compared to the, the misuse of I could care less, which, by the way, I hear far fewer times a day than the literally mis mm. misuse. Yeah. yeah. And I can't take, I would take mansplaining <laughs> off if it was the misuse of, because I do think it gets misused a lot. Like, there's a point that you could just disagree and or explain something to someone. Mm -hmm. Right. That happens to be of a different gender, that sure. it doesn't necessarily qualify it, and I feel like it's become a catch-all. That's what he's talking about. He's yeah. talking about the misuse. No, of he didn't say misuse. He I just, said, I just said the use of mansplaining. The use of, oh, I'm the sorry. Use of mansplaining. I'm sorry. I, I thought so the use of mansplaining, the misuse of I could care less, and the overuse and misuse me. of literally. You swayed me. I'm getting rid of literally. Literally has gone literally. From literally. literally. As much literally as I hate the mansplaining the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mansplaining, for me, it's uh, close because it's one of those things that the people use mansplaining don't quite understand what it is, and it's pretty silly because anyone could explain something to yeah, you. Then he can't anyways, explain it to him. Um, I'm going to go with literally because that just <laughs> makes you sound ignorant every time you say it. Literally, literally, yeah. literally, yeah. Everybody literally, literally, literally used for the correct. Ah! 
Literally. Okay. Uh, the overuse and misuse of the word gaslighting. Mm. Thoughts and prayers. Or just saying. Oh, man. Can I... Bring, get can I bring everything back and just get rid of these three? All of them? <laughs> the overuse and misuse of gaslighting. Thoughts and prayers. This is a toughie. Or just saying. You know, you know, you know why prayer. this is a toughie? It's a toughie for me because gaslighting is a, like a for real thing. It's a for real thing that we really yeah, need it's to when like. when you bend over and you have a lighter. And, mm -hmm. We need to have a good grasp of what it is so we can recognize where it is. Right. The problem is a lot of times the people that are overusing the term are the gaslighters yes. themselves. Yeah. And they don't know what the hell it means. Or, right. Or, or they're using it as a weapon because they're manipulators in the, in the get-go. So yeah. I'm going to say gaslighting, although it hurts a little bit, just because I think it's dismissive. Remember, a lot it's of people, the overuse and misuse Right, of that's what I'm A lot of people don't mm -hmm. even understand what it is, and because it's being misused so much, it's just like de-educating all of us. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to say the gaslighting thing bothers me the most. Okay. I don't know. When somebody says gaslighting to me, I automatically shut off. That's what I'm talking about. And why? Mm -hmm. It's because it's being over... Your gas got shut off. Mis mis it's being uh, misused. Right, but, but it shouldn't. you shouldn't shut off because... If somebody says, hey, this person's just gaslighting you, that should be like a, a, like a boop, a when red flag, just, and you go, wait a second, I'm going to review this and go, oh, crap, yeah, the, you're right. When you're just throwing it around, like willy-nilly, like, like, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm, I'm saying to myself, you don't know what the hell this means. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I'll, I'll explain. Me gaslighting would be me saying that Moon has been shorter than me. For I've, nine years for nine on this years. show. <laughs> I've gaslighted St. Louis mm -hmm. <laughs> into believing. <laughs> into believing that countless moon, things. That Is I'm it not only one than example, you? Moon. <laughs> one example at a time. If I say something enough times. It is true. People will start believing that Moon is shorter than me. Right, but a lot of times the victims are the people that are being told something about themselves, and they end right. up thinking something yes. is true about themselves. Yes. And, I, and mm -hmm. I've been like, yeah. I hate to, I hate to do this because you know, we kind of jump on people when they do this. But like, I was, a, I was an intense victim of of this in a particular relationship that I had, and I had no idea. Years and years and years went by, and this person had convinced me this, this, and this. I apologize. I do dozens of things <laughs> about myself that like really. <laughs> false formed my personality it like affected my yeah. life so dramatically that when, I, that when i was out of it i had i mean it was like it was like somebody popped me out of a, a, a different planet and i never realized i wasn't on earth you know what i'm saying right, so and when so you're it's told like a, something enough times mm -hmm. you start to doubt yourself especially with someone that you have like intense trust with i don't want you guys to doubt my answers moving forward but i am doing a half scoop of exploder oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, as much as I hate the misuse of gaslight, I, and and I'm going to go thoughts and prayers. Same. Oh, really? Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. But it's so positive, at least. You said these yeah, are incorrect. Uh, it is a dig. Yeah, people don't. There are certain people that do use it as a genuine. as a genuine. Hey, man, thoughts and prayers. Oh, you but mean like like as a dismissive? Like, like thoughts and prayers. Sorry about your bo today. Oh. Oh, I don't. I don't think even that way. I think no. after a national tragedy, something happens. Oh, yeah. People feel they need to put that. And I it's wasn't going to go so the national tragedy route, but empty. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Oh, yeah. But is this about? It's such. You said I have misused. to put something down. No, I just said thoughts and prayers. Period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Uh, it is the ultimate empty gesture. It is the ultimate. Uh, I don't actually want to give any thought or prayers. Or prayer. I just want. I just something needs to be oh. put on social so, media. I, ha I feel like I have to respond. Uh, it's just an. It has become the ultimate empty gesture to me about some of the biggest things plaguing our society. So take your thoughts separately and your prayers. Stick them up your ass. <laughs> you you know, still, he, he, stick them the up. The only your thing lazier. Stick you know, them right up your gaslight. The only thing. Yeah, I'll gaslight the hell out of this. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers is the ultimate gaslighting because <laughs> you don't think that. You don't, you know. And the only thing lazier is like, and it's also, the, I, that's just so prevalent on social media. The only thing worse is like the, don't even have time to type a word, just the pre the hands going up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> prayers going up. And I'm just like. It's thoughts and prayers for me. What's, what's for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Scott? Well, I guess with your argument, you're saying it kind of takes away the, the actual power of prayer and how effective it really is. If you say those kind of things, it could weaken it whenever you just do like a little you know, mocking funny, symbol Scott, or something. If, if you said it, I would believe it. Yeah, I, 100%. Not um, the thought part. 
Yeah, just the prayers. Just the yeah. prayer. <laughs> I know there's no thought. No, yeah. There's no, no, no. thoughts coming from that. <laughs> you say that from now on, you just have to go, prayers. Hey, <laughs> prayers and prayers. <laughs> that first word in prayers. No no thought prayers. Yeah. Scott, the give me the first so word in prayers. saying thoughts and prayers are overuse and misuse of well, gaslighting. I think in the argument you guys are bringing up, maybe it is, but I also like the idea of that one being used because at least it's not... Filthy, it's not mean, it's uh, some kind of kindness. Kindness. So I'm going to go with gaslighting. Gaslighting. What was the third one? Yeah, the Just saying. Yeah, it's a good thing. I'd rather prayers. people say that all day on there. Yeah, exactly. Even if it's even if it's uh, meant maliciously, it has a potential to be, you know, like, accepted. And, as, sure. as, as, and as only comforting. in the last, like, two or three years, that's become a thing to make fun of. It's kind of like being scared sure of clowns does, and all that. But, uh, I yeah. think more often than not, it's an empty, I need to put something down. No, nope. he, he, yep. he hit it on the head, man. It's, it's just a new fad. clown thing. It's just a fad to hate thing. it, bro. You guys are just Get the hell out of here. Falling just into saying. Yeah, learn, no. learn it's on <laughs> just you. Just saying, man. Just saying, man. Just saying. Thoughts and prayers are the just saying of national tragedy. <laughs> He's got a point. Just I, saying. I originally when we started, it was just saying, but now I am on thoughts and prayers. Thoughts chain. and prayers. Yep. Bye. Whoa. Bye. Oh, man. Hey, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> uh, one more. One more group of three. I think we just got gaslit. Oh man. One more group of three. It is what it is. All right. Yeah. Boys will be boys. <laughs> <laughs> or living the dream. Boys are back in town. The boys will be boys thing is like the national slogan for males everywhere. That's like, why it stays. <laughs> it's so, so cheesy. Though. I mean, to me, that's. Wait, sucks. wait, let me explain this to you. Yeah. <laughs> you man boys, boys. Boys. Man what does that even mean? <laughs> I think it is what it is, sucks so much, and it's so old, and it's so stupid. So I'm going, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Oh, man. I think that actually has the most depth of all three of these. It is. What was the third one? Living the dream. Living the dream. I think that might be. I think that might be. Is, is that dismissive? Whenever you're like, how are you doing? Living the dream. But, well, dude, that's like you're saying best day of my life. That You're pretty much saying I'm living the dream. No, because yeah. I don't, because when I say live, when, when somebody says living the dream, I don't know what that is. Your dreams are different than mine. I don't know what the hell that means. Like, that that, that doesn't have any, like, I don't know. It doesn't have any, like, personal context oh. necessarily. And, like, the best day of my life, like, for, for me, like, legitimately has context because I believe, like, this is literally the only day that I have right now. Sure. But maybe. It, it is. Like, this, this, I woke up this well, we morning. We have to take that at face value. And a few billion people that have existed on this planet didn't. I have, but I, and I will take you at your word on that. So if you say something to me and I say, live in the dream, why can't you take me at my word? Well, I do, I do. I'm just I'm hanging out with my friends. I got a great yeah. job. So I'm doing comedy. It's your my dream. dream. Is to walk but down this hallway past me. If you say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you say you live in my dream, dream is to wait to get a coffee behind me at the break room. Yeah, I'll believe you. Live in my dream. How you doing, man? Living the dream. But Are you s- really? No, you're but not. What the, the dream. dream. You're what? getting hung up on uh, the 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 the. Yeah, All right. For sure. Mm. Semantics. My vote is living the dream. Goodbye. What were the choices again? It is what it is. Boys will be boys or living the dream. Gotta keep boys will be boys. I agree with that. The national slogan. That's probably the one that should go. I know why. That's the one that should go. It should. Why? It's the silliest. It's been co-opted to excuse bad male behavior for a long time. Yeah, it's it's like it's. But at the same time, my mom used to say it when we would like break the couch. Right. That's the way I think (laughs) of it. When we would wrestle around the house, and she's like, I'm like. You guys broke the couch arm again and be like, well, boys will be boys. You know, so sometimes. Because I can see that actually being used in a, in a way to describe a situation that needs to be. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. what situation? Give me the situation. Here's the thing. Oh, I man. think it should be limited Little to Johnny actual. Johnny burned down five acres. Um, ah! Boys will be boys. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Play what matches. Boys will be boys. But when you're talking literal about, gaslighting. But when you're talking about a 50-year-old predator and somebody oh, says, no. well, boys will be boys. That is where my point is. I think it should be relegated to actual boys. Yeah, to actual boys. The phrase should only be used to describe child behavior. And that's why we can't get rid of it. Adult behavior. Like that neighbor we were talking about earlier with the neighbor son who was peeing off the top floor into a garden. <laughs> yeah, boys will be boys. boys. If he's like 13 years old, boys will be boys. Yeah, mm-hmm. if he's 21. Yeah, if he's 35. Yeah. If he's 35. Watchdog.com. <laughs> yeah. Men can't be boys. So what do you want to get rid of? Ah, oh, man, that's a toughie. We're keeping boys will be boys. I, I probably it is what it is. It's a okay. it's I can handle small talk platitudes. I don't love living the dream, but it's like whatever, dude. If I you know <laughs> Mark says living the dream is code for slowly dying inside. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, nobody's ever really genuine. I right, so what do we, would you say? I'll take living the dream living over the dream. you actually right. I'll take living the dream over you actually telling me. All of your problems. 
Because <laughs> if I see you in the hallway and I'm like, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? And you're like, living the dream. And I'm like, hey, whatever. Yeah. Cool. They're like, man, actually, not, man. You don't have to have an in-depth yeah. conversation. Yeah. Got out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of a reprieve at times. Sometimes it's the, it is, uh, you've been excused. I do so love what'd how, you say, man? I, I said living the living dream, dream can go. I love how you came my way, though, and you used my, my, my natural catchphrase, my uh, unintentional catchphrase of, ah, whatever, dude. <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> you're like, eh, whatever. And learn you or it is what it is. It is what it is. Scott? Yeah, I think, uh, again, going back to the thoughts and prayers kind of thing, at least it's something happy they're saying whenever they say living the dream. So it's annoying and it's cheesy, but I'm going to go with uh, it is what it is. All right, but sorry, <laughs> living the dream got three, good argument, three votes. Yeah. That's a good argument. Yeah, thank you. Out. But uh, And Rafe nailed it. Ah! Thank you. You can just avoid conversation. <laughs> There's a positive for me. <laughs> All right, good. So if we would type that up and uh, send it to... I'm going to uh, just put it on Twitter. To the planet? Are, if send you it use to, these, to people that need to see that. You're yeah. going to go to jail. I'm gonna, Governor Parson. Excuse me. Yeah. You, you are no longer allowed to use Live in the Dream. That's it. It has been voted upon. Sorry, not sorry. Pull yourself up by you your... You may use straps. Living a Dream, Living my Dream. <laughs> <laughs> living not your living dream, dream. But not the Dream. Not the Dream.